so finally the most excited part hands on right so in our upcoming videos right we'll be using google collab to program our apache beam sdk we can also pretty well do it in our local right so installing apache beam is very straightforward pip install apache beam that's straightforward right so let's do it here pip install apache beam run it right it will take some time to you know install it right it's actually installing it mm -hmm. yes so finally the installation is successful now let's import our apache beam as beam i imported my apache beam package now in apache beam everything is a pipeline if you want to read any file right it can be csv file it can be parquet file if you want to it can be streaming anything right if you want to apply any transformation everything is a pipeline you have to define everything in a pipeline right so first we'll define a pipeline so i'm just naming my object as in pipe so i'm saying beam dot pipeline right now i created an object called pipe right now we'll see how to read a file right so as this is a google collab right so here we have an option to upload the file oops i created a new section so this is a place where i can upload my file let me upload the file which i have yeah this is the file i have so it is getting uploaded right so this is actually this session is temporary right so for example if you log out and log in this file which we are uploading will be lost so we have to re-upload it again right so the file is uploaded now let me remove this logs yeah we created a pipeline right now we'll see how to read this file right so for this first i'm creating a variable maybe i'll name it ip which is nothing but our p transformation right this is the format so inside this bracket i'm calling my pipeline pipe right this is the name i have given right and <laughs> this is the symbol it's nothing but apply function right in case if you are using pandas or any other you know big data system you might have heard about apply function right this pipe symbol is nothing but an apply right maybe you can say dot apply something like that right so now first thing what we need to do we need to read the file right it's called the b under io so there is an option called read did you see we have read from avro bigquery this is the thing which we talked about right now we are reading a text file typically it's a csv file but apache beam don't support the csv file directly right so now they are actually implementing the data frame right which is still not that mature so it has a feature where you can read a csv file directly now we are reading it as a text file right and then let me get the location of this so here you will get three dots copy path and then paste it here clear so this is how uh, you know we can uh, read the csv file okay this is my recording is coming here and then if you want to skip headers you can skip headers right in in this particular uh, file we have a headers let me try to open this file first this is uh, yeah we have headers and very high level this file is about you know uh, the retail data where you have invoice number stock code description what is the quantity when is the invoice date what is the price per item right and what is the customer id right and which country you bought it from right this is the simple csv file now going back to our logic so i'm saying skip header line is equal to true 
right and now i read the file right as i said this is a csv file but we are reading it as a text file right now we have to somehow <coughs> convert this csv file into a uh, sorry convert this text file into a csv file right for that we have beam dot map map filter flat map these are the widely used you know uh, methods in any of the big data system right even in python we have map filter and flat map right quickly discuss we'll quickly discuss what is map here so this is the image which i got it from data flare right if you see this is my variable right each value in a variable right will be passed to this map map is nothing but the place where we write our transformation logic which means in our p collection we have elements right for example if you talk about this particular csv file a text file each line in my p collection is an element right so when i apply a map logic right that particular map logic will be applied to each of this element one by one right so now what i am trying to do i am saying i am writing a lambda lambda x right and i am saying x dot split this with the comma because it's a comma separated right now what happens first it will go this for first first line okay so create a list right typically it's a comma separated right so this is one list this is one list one list one list right it's a list of list so now hope you understand right map is something like what are the logic you written inside this map that logic will be applied on line by line of your p collection right now what we'll try to do is we'll try to write a we'll try to apply a simple filter condition maybe uh, based on the stop code for example right so now i'll say b so as i said there are three major you know uh, methods map filter and flat uh, flat map flat map we'll discuss in our upcoming videos so i'm saying filter okay what i want to filter i want to filter based on my stock code right so i'll say lambda x now this is the a typical you know lambda functions right hope you should be aware about what is lambda all those things if not i already made couple of videos on this you can watch it so now see in case of uh, in in our previous video what we did sorry in our previous sorry our previous line what we did in the map we split the p collection right so what happens if you split it typically what split does in python it will create a list of list right now this is one list obviously right this is a list right so if i want to access the invoice it is list of 0 if i want to access the stack code it's a list of 1 right that's called list indexing right now this x is a list now now in our case i want to access stack code which is x of 1 so i'll say x of 1 is nothing but my stack code is it double equal to maybe this we'll just try to filter this right oh it's not copied right now i filtered it now what i want to do is i actually want to maybe print it so i'll say beam dot map i'll just say print so which means what happens after the filter apply after it apply the filter right it will print each and every line right now let me run this see any big data system is a lazy evolution right lazy programming which means like now i run this command it doesn't mean that you know it will go and you know read this file apply this transformation and print it no right i need to run my pipeline so for that it's simple pipe dot run that's it now it is executing did you see it is actually printing 
right only with this stock code right now in case if you want to you know uh, see the count you can also do like this right so i'll say beam dot so we have an option called combiners that is one of the package inside the beam and i'm counting it globally let me see what we'll get now it's running okay so this is one of the important thing right so now what happened did you see i just say print right i'm just trying to print the count right but what happening right it is printing the records right so <clears throat> whenever you want to rerun you have to initialize this you know uh, the pipeline again now let's see how it works did you see we have total 2313 records right count work so what we are doing is see as i said right in one of our video right just to make it simplify how this count works this data is distributed right so what i need to do if i need to count so now we apply filter right this filter is applied on each and every system right now what i need to do i need to combine it right technically speaking yes that's what i am doing i'm combining and then counting it globally across my workers or the systems right this is how this count works and this the same way right i mean instead of writing this and then you know you're running it you can also write it in a simple fashion how we can do is hope you know with right with this uh, when you are reading a file in python not doing any operation right so with is commonly used for example if you want to read a file you need to close the stream once you done with reading the file so instead you know if you do that file processing logic inside the with you need not to close it it will automatically close in our case i need not to run this pipe again so let me see how we'll do it um beam pipeline as pipe one i am calling it pipe and then maybe i'll say ip1 is equal to it's a similar logic whatever we write here we are let's just try to put it here i name it the variable p1 and it must be pipe1 so let me run this it's running yeah so the major difference is you you are writing the logic in 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 a in a proper way right so you need not to run it again right everything happens within this right so hope you got some clear idea right and how you can you know code it using python apache beam sdk right do you think it's very straight forward yes right so hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe uh, to my channel so we'll see a few more you know things in our upcoming videos thank you